Hey everybody, today in this video we'll be making my favorite recipe, wonton soup. And for this recipe, it's easier to make it in bulk, and you can save the rest for another day. But for today, we'll be making one bowl of wonton soup, and uh, let's begin. We have here Napa cabbage, or Chinese cabbage. And we're just gonna cut up some for the soup. There you go. And then we're gonna take the Napa and put it in here for the soup. And we'll remove the rest for another day. We also have here some shiitake mushrooms. It's around uh, five ounces. And we're just gonna open this up. And take some of the mushrooms and put it into the pot for the soup. There you go. That should be good. You can put more or less depending on your preference. And then we're gonna take some bone chicken broth and put it in. We want the Napa cabbage and the shiitake mushrooms fully submerged, so we're just gonna add two cups of water. There you go. Looking good. Now we're gonna take this and put it on the stove and cook it later. Okay, so let's make the wontons. We have here some shrimp. Uh, they were frozen shrimp. It's around 16 ounces. You have to defrost it and peel all the shells. And we have the shells all removed. And the first thing what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put it on the cutting board. And uh, start chopping it up. You can cut it up into finer bits or bigger chunks depending on your preference. But the smaller the chunk, the better it mixes with the uh, ground pork. Okay, we're set and now we're gonna put it into the Tupperware. The next thing what we're gonna chop up is the uh, shiitake mushrooms. Okay, we're set. You want it, um, you want it to be fine bits, like this. There you go. Now we're gonna put it with the shrimp. There you go. We have here the shiitake mushrooms, the ground shrimp, and now we're gonna add some of the uh, ground pork around 16 ounces or one pound. Okay, open it up. And um, take it out. And I'll wash my hands real quick. Okay, now let's add the seasoning. We're gonna add one tablespoon of white pepper. There we go, one tablespoon of white pepper, two tablespoons of salt. Yo, that's one. There you go. Two tablespoons of uh, sea salt, two tablespoons of sesame seed oil. One, two. Two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Okay, that's one. There you go, that's two. The next thing what we're gonna add is uh, three eggs. That's one, two, and three. Then what you wanna do is mix the three eggs and all the seasoning all together. Make sure everything is nicely stirred together. 
and even. The next thing what we're going to add is some cornstarch. The, the cornstarch helps the wonton stick together better. Okay, that's one. And two. And stir it all together. It also helps thickening it up. This is uh, more glued together now. There you go. It's looking good. This is what it should look like. Okay. For the brand of wonton skin, we're using this. You can get this at your local grocery store or any other kind of wonton skin will work as well. Okay, we're gonna take a plate for the wontons and open up the wonton skin. Okay, let's open this up. Take some of the uh, wontons from the center and just fold it up any way you like it. That's one, this is that simple. Here's another one. Take a scoop of the wonton filling, put it in the center. Just fold it up any way you like it and close it up. There you go. One more. In the center. There you go, that's it. And let's finish up the rest real quick. Okay, last one. We made around half of this wonton package and uh, we're set. Okay, now that we have the wontons ready, we're gonna cook up the soup. Put it right here. Okay, now we're gonna turn on the heat. There we go. See here. Yep, looking good. Now we're gonna put the soup here and let it uh, boil. Okay, the first seasoning we're gonna add to this is one teaspoon of white pepper. There you go, put that in. And uh, one tablespoon of sesame seed oil. And that's it. We're gonna stir it all up and let it boil. Okay, it's finally boiling. We're just gonna stir it up a little bit. We're gonna let it cook for four minutes. Okay, it's been four minutes after boiling and now we're gonna turn off the heat. And we're just gonna let it cook with the heat off. And now we're gonna cook up the wontons. We're gonna turn on high and then uh, let this water uh, boil. Okay, the water is boiling, and now we're going to put in the wontons. Goes. Make sure they don't stick to the bottom. You just stir it a little bit. Just stir it periodically and making sure that it doesn't stick. We're waiting for it to uh, boil and start bubbling a little bit more and then we're gonna put the timer for five minutes. Okay, it's starting to bubble really good. Now we're gonna set the timer for five minutes and uh, we'll be back. And if it's boiling a little bit too high, lower the, uh, lower the heat to prevent it from overflowing. Okay, it's been five minutes and now we're gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna go cool them down. Looking good. And take them over to the sink and put it in the strainer. There we go. Okay, we're gonna cool them down with uh, cold water. You wanna rinse them with cold water to stop the cooking process. Okay, we're set. And now we're gonna put them in a bowl. We're gonna put the soup in. Okay, 
Okay, this is what we have today, wonton soup. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a like and uh, subscribe for more future recipes. Here, have a bite and thanks for watching.